Good afternoon. My name is David Fishkind. It's been a little while. I'm currently in uh, my parents' house. It's the famous cat that you have come to know and love. Her name is Nori. I've uh, been staying here for a while, and I may stay for a while yet. Today, I wanted to review this drink, the olive oil martini made with Grazza, extra virgin olive oil. Some of you may be familiar with this Grazza olive oil brand. I came in contact with their product through looking at the internet maybe about a year ago and was immediately turned off by the uh, plastic bottle. I, yeah, I cook predominantly with extra virgin olive oil and I like the way it tastes in much of my culinary uh, repertoire. However, it's my understanding that at worst you want to store olive oil in glass and ideally, you want to store it in metal, like those tins. You don't want it to come in contact with any light. And while the plastic bottles of the Grazza are tinted, I thought, eh, BPA is microplastic. It just like it couldn't possibly be as good as, you know, real Italian olive oil, not that, not that crap that the mafia is pushing, the, uh, you know, canola oil, or sold as olive oil, whatever. Real Italian or Spanish, or California even, extra virgin olive oil. I like this brand, I would buy more expensive stuff, but because of the state of my life. I like this brand, the Zoe brand. It comes in those metal tins. Anyway, more recently, about two weeks ago, I tasted the Grazza olive oil for the first time. And I squirted it out of the bottle. It was at my sister's house. I didn't love it. But I've been seeing this drink around, right? And it's, you know, I get it why the Grazza olive oil has had its success. It's well branded. My wife says it was probably advertised on the mainstream news. An olive oil martini, it's a non-alcoholic cocktail. Those of you who know me know that I've had my share of struggles with alcohol. I'm currently and indefinitely abstaining from the beverages containing high amounts of ethanol or any at all. Um, uh, but this drink, you know, it's uh, the graphics look just kind of cool. Kind of piqued my curiosity. I've been seeing it in stores all around the country. I'm a bit of a globe trotter, and I can't help but consume as a an American at heart. So I thought I would try try it for myself. And. It, no better time than the present, so let's just crack in. The ingredients, sorry, before I, filtered carbonated water, natural vermouth flavor, juniper oil, so that vermouth flavor and juniper oil, I guess, where the martini comes from, Grazza drizzle olive oil, natural green olive flavor, yuzu extract, citric acid. It sounds like something I would like. Now I will open it. it. Smells good. It has five calories. It's distributed by Ourobora Inc., San Francisco, California. When I purchased this earlier today, uh, it came with a 50 cents off coupon. I couldn't help myself but apply. Uh, it's one of those ones with the rubber band around it the cashier scrutinized it for some time before taking the 50 cents off. 
Well, maybe she knows something I don't know. Here I have a glass. A friend of mine named Zachary was telling me recently that when you pour a carbonated beverage into a glass, some of the carbonation gas molecules that would otherwise bloat your stomach uh, go off into the air and so you don't get as stomach achy. This time of the month, the full moon upon us, I find to be a particularly inflammatory period in my life as a sufferer of IBS. Uh, as your melatonin levels drop with the approach of the full moon, your serotonin levels rise, which actually additionally gives wake to the parasites that inevitably inhabit all of our gastrointestinal systems. If you're a person who is extra sensitive, maybe suffers from emotion dysregulation like myself, the activation of these parasites causes increased symptomatic acute symptoms in your GI. But this is real plants, zero proof, sugar free. This lightly sparkling non-alcoholic cocktail is an ethereal blend of the world's best sparkling water and Graz's famous drizz drizzle olive oil. Extra, extra, what does an olive... I'm reading off the can. What does an olive oil martini taste like? Well, I mean, the swirl of real yuzu fruits and fresh extra virgin olive oil makes for a rich succulent cocktail with warm herbal undertone. I'll be the judge of that. I sort of taste the underlying martini flavors. I, I, I would be lying if I didn't say I tasted the juniper. As a bit of a gin alcoholic, when gin hits my esophagus like a big pizza pie that's an alcoholic addict's reaction and I just you know I had a reading about six months ago and I could feel when the gin touched the back of my throat that I was going to be a complete fuck up that night and I, and I was um, yeah, the drink tastes mostly like water. The juniper flavor is purely aftertaste. Um, it costs $3.99 minus 50 cents. I guess it cost $3.50, $3.49. I would say it's not worth that much. don't get the olive oil flavor at all. You know what's a good drink? Is that LaCroix Cola drink that they did for a little while. Now how come I don't see that anymore? It tasted like watered down Coca-Cola. I'm wearing a t-shirt about Leadville, Colorado. Today is Monday, June 17th, 2024. A couple books that sit on my shelf. The Maniac by Benjamin, Benjamin Labatou. DBT for dummies. That's me. Rent's due. Not worth the money, but it won't hurt you. So if you've got the money, sure, spend it. It's not for me to say. The mother of all bombs.